Welcome to the Opus OP2 setup video. We're going to show you the simple process from beginning to end. This video features one person doing the setup of the camper. However, having an assistant makes for easier setup. So remember, when using an assistant, be mindful of where they are during any procedure so as not to cause accidental injury. Before unhitching your camper from your vehicle, ensure you firmly apply the handbrake. We recommend placing wheel chocks in front of and behind at least one wheel of the camper. However, in some cases you may only choose to use one wheel chock, depending on the slope of the ground. Before unhitching your camper, if you notice the camper is on uneven ground and sitting lower on one side, Consider using a wheel ramp to raise up that side of the camper until it is level. Keep in mind you can use the jockey wheel to level the camper front to rear once it is unhitched from your vehicle. It should now be safe to unhitch your camper. To open your OP2, move around the camper and ensure you remove all pins from the latches of the OP2's roof cage and lid. Hold on to the two brass roof cage locking pins. You'll need these in a moment. To keep track of your pins when not in use, store them in the control panel compartment. This will make them easier to locate when packing down your camper. Next step is to lift the roof cage. The roof cage is the perfect way to carry lighter items. Before raising the roof cage, ensure these items are removed. Release the two roof cage latches and push the roof cage upward. The gas struts will assist in taking most of the weight. Secure the roof cage in the vertical position with the locking pins you removed earlier. Then release the three lid latches on that side, then move to the other side of the camper and do the same. Once all latches have been released, you'll notice the lid starting to lift. Fold the lid over. The bed lid is gas strut assisted for easy opening and closing, but always ensure you support the lid when it's folding in either direction. Secure the lid with the two locking latches. Now you're almost ready to inflate your OP2. To do so, ensure you close all five valves located on the main tent. Ensure they are sealed tight to stop any air leakage. Now head to the control panel. For those wanting to use the Annex, now is the time to attach it. Please refer to our video on Attaching the Annex to your camper for further information. Press the main power button, the pump power button and then the air pump start button. You'll hear the compressor motor start. This will indicate that your inflation is underway. While you wait for the tent to inflate, move around the camper and lower all four stabiliser legs. To speed up the process of lowering and raising the stabilising legs, try using a cordless drill with the correct attachment. Extend the leg stabiliser with the winder handle, so it's in firm contact with the ground. Please note, these leg stabilisers are not to be used as jacks. Walk around your OP2 and pull the tent canvas over the lid corners. To assist in your camper taking shape during inflation, grab the straps at the rear and secure with pegs to ensure the canvas maintains stability. When camping on firm ground, screw-in or threaded pegs are a great option. Inspect inside the camper to ensure all air beams are correctly positioned. The pump will automatically shut off once your OP2 has reached its required inflation pressure. Once fully inflated, open up the camper door and fold out the steps. Remember to close the shut-off valve at the base of the main beam 
as this will ensure your tent remains inflated for your entire camping trip. The internal travel layout of your OP2 will look like this. The base of the couch will remain in position and the back cushions are located on the folding table and floor. Remove the folding table to enable more space. Place the two shorter back cushions at the rear of the seating area. Then place the two longer back cushions on either side of your OP2's lounge area. Now do an exterior check of your OP2 and ensure all the canvas is fastened down. Lastly, use the press studs to clip the canvas door neatly to the camper. Congratulations! Your Opus OP2 camper is now ready to use and enjoy.